It's really pretty spot. I love how it's nice and clear. Yeah. Very fun to tube down here. You did say you could tube. Yeah. To this point, yeah, you can't get underneath the bridge. You'd have to pick. You have to get up and walk. Yeah, pick it up and walk. Wow, how pretty it is. <laughs> I guess that's the trail up ahead. Today is a bright and beautiful day and perfect day to go for a hike. We're going to do the waterfall interpretive trail and then the river corridor trail. The river corridor trail is actually 12 miles long. We're, we're not doing that. We're going to do like three out, maybe three back. It's about 45 minutes from the campground. So we're all set and all trails is going to tell us the way. All trails got us to the Azacot River State Park headquarters, but then it kind of left us hanging. So I wound up having to go inside and it was a really nice park ranger who explained how this wall worked. We have to take the little playground trail to get to the water leaf trail. And at the end of that trail, we're going to pick up the uh, river corridor trail. And just as the park ranger said, here is the water leaf trail. And we're walking down the side of a mountain. <laughs> we're getting a little glimpse of the river that's down there. Oh, look. Oh, a little barbecue pit, picnic table. Just on the waterly trail. So it brings you down to the river. Well, it's two trails. Alright, so you're either going to walk nine miles or ten miles. <laughs> trail is backed by blue paint and bridges are numbered. The river gets dark before sunset, allow extra time when floating. Okay. Oh, that's your floating. The river corridor trail, 12.5 miles. We're not going to do the whole thing. There's a nice bridge to start us off with. Okay. Pretty. You see right down to the bottom. This is lighting up. Look on. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to carry Enzo over this graded bridge. Because I don't think he's going to be able to walk on this. Enzo is not thrilled about being carried over anything. <laughs> oh. It's really pretty spot. I love how it's nice and clear. Yeah. Very fun to tube down here. You did say you could tube. Yeah. To this point, yeah, you can't get underneath the bridge. You'd have to pick. You have to get up and walk. Yeah, pick it up and walk. Wow, how pretty it is. <laughs> hmm. well, I guess that's the trail up ahead. I thought we would be walking next to the river, but it looks like we're climbing. <laughs> we're not going to be next to the river. Oh darn. Bring us down here. Who brought us here from yesterday? Now we're going to go to the river corridor trail. Yeah, we'll see how far it takes us. We don't have a trail map, huh? 
I'm using all trails, which has a, a built-in GPS and tells us where we are. And if we all go, of course. <laughs> And look, we're going uphill. It's an Indian pink or a pink root. Isn't that pretty? And it goes up around the bend. Oh, and then it axis. I can't tell what it is. Yeah, we're walking along edge of a rift. At least they have some stones down. And we're higher than the cars going over the bridge. There too. So we've climbed up pretty high. And we're climbing again. The river is way down below us. I thought we would be walking next to the river, but no such luck. Oh, it looks like a Coriopsis. Oh my gosh, those are pretty. And we're still climbing uphill. And we keep climbing. I'm gonna take another break. I guess we're both. Well, I do have enough trails marked pretty well. Blue, blue splotches on like every tree. Yeah. Lots of blueberry bushes. Yep. Yeah, no, no berries though. Too early. Yeah, I think for up here, yeah. Down in Texas, they'd be out already. Oh, look at this little, little toadstool. Thank you. There's a bigger blueberry bushes. I don't see any berries on them either. Hmm. Yeah. I just see a little green berries. They're very unripe. Darn. I could use a Wow, blueberries right now. There they are. But look, they're all green. Shoot. We're going downhill. <laughs> Do you not want to go down? Are you walking no, around? No, that's okay. Well, we'll go down a little bit. If we can't find a bench, then we'll turn around and come back up. Well, you have your you have your chair, right? I have my chair. Oh, yeah. I have a chair. If you find an opening, we can just yeah, we find a nice opening. We can we'll just sit down stop. Somewhere. Yeah. Clearly, we will because we didn't get any bugs. Let's just switch back. <laughs> it's a lot more humid than it was yesterday. I'm sweating to death. Plus all these hills and ups and downs. Not that I'm totally out of shape, but it's a lot more rugged than it is in Texas. Or even Ohio. And he's way ahead. Plus I have a fear of heights and wood walking along this edge of this ridge. Yeah, take a peek. There's a little stream down there. Can you see how steep this is? In fact, the trail at this point is actually sideways. Lovely. A cute little bridge. Doesn't look like anything running underneath it right now. But the river's out over there. I have no idea 
Yeah, those are those are really pretty. And it just keeps going uphill. Really drops off this side. Way down there. I just picked a couple of ticks off of him and a couple of the dog, even though we have Perfecto on Thor, because they're already biting. I haven't had any yet, but I did cover myself pretty well with deep woods off. Oh. And since I walked behind them, they're probably knocking them all off the bushes first. And we're going uphill again. Okay, we walked out 2.11 miles and now we're turned around, we're going back. I saw this little cool trail right after the second bridge that we went over. It looks like he takes it down to the, the river so we're gonna go try that and see what that looks like. And maybe we can pull out our chairs and have lunch slash snacks. <laughs> I need a snack. I'm gonna try this little cut off and see if it takes us to the river. It's heading at least in the right direction. Oh, too steep, huh? No, we can get down. No place to go, though, huh? There's really nothing there. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's nothing there. Yep, yeah, you got it. I mean, we could probably set down there, but it's a good place to go Nah. Our best bet probably is to go back to the original bridge that we went across. Go sit there. And sit there, yeah. We could do that. So much for that. Ah. Yeah, see, check and see if we have any ticks on us. Yeah. Oh, not too easy. But you guys were going through it first. I don't see any. I usually see them right away. Yeah. Okay. We'll go back. We'll go so back. That is this one trail we were on in Texas. Oh, we. Well, obviously, you're the one that we were on in New Jersey. Remember, we were finding ticks all over coal. Yep. And one shot, we picked up like 13 off of them. Yep. It's like, oh, yuck. <sighs> oh, it kills me. Oh. Downhill, I'm fine. At least we're going back. Yeah, we're going to be getting it. Yeah, we're going to be getting it. Oh, we're going to get it even good to make. Ashes. You don't want half my sandwich because you feel bad? Do you make half a sandwich? No, you... I have my cashews is what yeah. I said. Not what I said. I said I'm fine. Just put it, just step on it. What? 
artist. Okay, like the last half mile. Drink like a whole bottle of water. I know, I saw him drink it. He's pretty He's thirsty. thirsty. He's thirsty. Oh, yeah. The last hill we have to climb. There's a bench right there. The river's down there. Way down there. And instead we have a more to go. Look, and we're almost back. These uphill climbs are killing me. <laughs> yeah, and there's the playground. Oh, almost there. But I knew you could drive down when you drove down. Yeah. And you started there. Yeah, I know. You didn't know. Turns out there was a gravel road that we could have taken the truck down to get to the bottom near the river, but we didn't. <laughs> we didn't know about it. <laughs> oh well. There's a playground on the left right here, and there's bathrooms on the right, which have showers, though we didn't check them out. There's our motorhome on the left, right there. We're back. Ah, it took us about 45 minutes to get back from that hike. There's Lucy. Looking out the window. And Rudy is right up there. And today is Memorial Day. And we're going to go check out some of the area and check out the town and where Mike's relatives are buried. You see, Desi? Hmm? You won't hear any birdies or anything this morning, huh? Slightly low. Nope, it looks like he saw something. They all know that we're leaving. So they're a little grumpy. I'm gonna take Enzo for a walk around the campground. And we're off. I'm gonna check out the Ozarks. It's a really pretty area. Who knew? Mike's mom never talked about where she grew up. It's just so pretty. I had no idea. Driving down these roads, I realized it looks a lot like Sussex County, New Jersey. A little winding roads, all the trees, it's gorgeous. Uh, we're looking for a left-hand turn here somewhere. Not supposed to be very large. Oh, there it is. And look, it looks like a gravel road. Gravel road, half dirt, oh boy. <laughs> I feel like I'm going down someone's driveway, but it has a road name. This is pretty. Definitely feel like we've made a wrong turn, but it's saying we're okay. Yep, another left. And it should be right up the street. Oakendales and the stones, which you are all related to, are all here. Oh, we gotta find that. Yeah. And we found it. Okay, so we found W.C. Stone's grave and his wife. He served in the Spanish-American War and then the Civil War as a Confederate. We found Eva and Solomon Bunch. I think they were twins. And I don't think she lasted for long and he only lasted six months, sadly. And here are the two infant children, uh, Josephine and Joseph Bunch. This is Mike's great, great grandfather, I think. It gets very confusing. All the stones over here. These you can't do what it is. 
These are really hard to read. Okay. Nope, nope. Palms. Some of these little stones look like nothing left. Okay, I don't know where the coca deals are. Is in here too? Yeah. Yeah, we find Mike's grandmother and grandfather, exactly. Leona is actually buried in California. And Barry is actually maybe here. And this looks like this is Mike's mom's brother, Don. I didn't know him. And it, this is quite sad. There's two bunch of babies. Died, they didn't give the names. Sometimes it's too painful. Okay. So you found the coca deals? Oh, okay. Died in uh, U.S. Navy, World War II. Oh wow. Uh, the veteran, 1927, died in 1977. And then we have a Fred. This is really just for flowers, not here. Yeah. A Fred and a Steve A. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure. I have to look those up because uh, Leona's main name was Cokendale. So these people were all related to her. And that was your grandmother. And the one I found out was Cokendale is because um, Pam do what your grandmother's maiden name was. So she's the one that told me it was Cokerdale. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So this is like really deep on the Oh, yeah. I was like, because oh, you keep you keep doing Ancestry and all of a sudden you're like, where are all these guys people oh, coming from? Cool. Yeah. Actually, they actually have a stone here for the my stone grandparents. For, yeah, that's cool that they actually, I didn't think there was one. Actually, I should take a picture of it to add it to the database. Yeah. Andrew Daniels. Yeah, I was looking at that. There's two more Daniels there. They're probably baby Daniels. Maybe. They just have they just have initials. And AC Daniel. Yeah. They may be babies too. Well that was a successful visit. We didn't expect to find everybody, but we pretty much did. Turns out those three families were probably the main families in the town, going way back. Who knew? Now we're off to explore more of this area. Oh, look! Continue <laughs> on the road for two miles. Oh my god! It's a dirt road! Okay, what's with all the dirt roads? Really? Any people zoom along these roads? Like, don't care. <laughs> Yeah, we do that every day, every time we go to the ranch. <laughs> oh, oh wow, I just looked at Google, it's going to put us out right by the road to the park. Good morning! It's Tuesday. We're going to a Texas State Park today. We're going to cross over and we'll be in Texas. I'm looking forward to it. And there's our rig down at the bottom. It's Memorial Day weekend. So the place is packed. That's what you want. Oh, it's so quiet here. I think everybody's sleeping in. Good time to get going early. It's been about a month since we hit the road to go to Dayton. And we're looking forward to getting home. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to us. We'd love to hear your comments. Have a great one.